For those upgrading from earlier versions of Microsoft Office, the biggest change in Word 2010 is the ribbon, which was first introduced in Office 2007. The ribbon uses tabs, groups, and buttons to replace toolbars and menus. It makes finding familiar commands and related new tools and features easier. The ribbon initially displays the Home tab, where you'll find clipboard, font, paragraph, styles, and editing groups. Aside from the options visible in each group, you can access several commands in a separate window by clicking what's called a dialog box launcher in a group's lower right corner. Click the Insert tab when you need to insert a cover page, headers and footers, hyperlinks, tables, and a variety of other objects into your document. To make adjustments to the page itself, we'd use the Page Layout tab. As is the case throughout the ribbon, the largest button in any group is considered to be the most important one and the most frequently used. For instance, in the Page Setup group, it's the Margins button, which gives us a gallery of choices for setting margins. If you'll need to add references in your document, look on the References tab. The tools here simplify your work with tables of contents, footnotes, citations, and more. Even adding a bibliography is easier than ever with a new tool on the ribbon. Click the Mailings tab when you need to print envelopes, labels, and form letters. This is also where you'll start a mail merge. Next is the Review tab, where you can quickly check spelling and grammar, and select from groups of other commands used in the review process. In another clip, we'll go over comparing two different documents using the powerful new Compare feature in Word 2010 that's found here on the Review tab. The View tab at the end of the ribbon gives you the control you need over your document's view, plus a quick way to show or hide the ruler and grid lines. Back on the far left of the ribbon is the File tab, which replaced Word 2007's Office button. This is known as the Backstage View, where we'll find file management functions like opening, saving, and printing, plus it includes file information, and new options for sharing a file with others. More on the Backstage View in another clip. And that's a look at the ribbon in Word 2010.